Here's a video tutorial on how I repair aluminum parts. Uh, this particular part is a carburetor and the ear broke off. So I'm gonna clean it up and cleanliness for TIG welding is super important. So if you think it's clean, clean it one more time and then after that clean it again because if you don't have a clean part, your TIG weld is not gonna be any good. So have a look at the tutorial and some of the pointers I, I get. <laughs> It's great when the part fits together like a, a puzzle. And you can see that this fits in there nicely. You can see how tight this fits together. Just like a puzzle. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it fell off, but you see what I'm talking about. Along with the, uh, using a brush to get to some fresh metal, use some acetone to clean off any oils or impurities so they don't get pulled into your weld pool and make welding difficult and create bad penetration. The wire brush turned out to not be enough, so I went in with a wire wheel, uh, a cup wire wheel, to kind of get a little bit more grind to it, a little fresher metal. Now to get this part stuck on, sometimes this is the hardest part, and you'll see what I'm talking about getting it lined up is not too difficult because it's like a puzzle piece but getting it to stay on there while you're getting the TIG you know working right getting it well pulled gone is usually the hardest part now that I got it locked in with the clamp here's a trick tip for you um, screw the screw back in there the screw of steel the aluminum won't stick to it so you can keep your threads if you don't your threads are going to be destroyed and you're going to have to um, retap the threads but if you put the screw in weld it up the threads will stay intact Now that I have the little piece, little ear stuck in place, I can now go ahead and put my grooves in so I can have deep penetration and more metal in there holding it together. So I'm gonna cut a groove into it so that I can lay metal in there and have a stronger bond.
make sure you're protecting your heat affected zone with your welding gas post blow so that um, you don't get oxidation and things like that that's going to damage the weld pool when you start back up. Now for the other side, cutting a channel in to lay some metal into it. Now here you go. Now if you wanted to, you can grind down the extra metal to make it look exactly like a brand new part. But I left it in there just for a little more strength over the duration of this, this, um, this part. And the aesthetics weren't super important, but the strength was more important. So there you go. And look, the threads are still intact. 